on my last flight with this airplane, I had, uh, when I got back in the hangar, I'll throw some pictures in here, but I had a fair amount of oil coming out on the prop blades. And so I took the spinner off and called some people that are smarter than me, so, which doesn't take much. But anyway, um, what I learned is that you know if a plane sits for quite a while which this one has and that grease the oil can separate from the grease and then that seal uh, may not hold that oil inside there it's meant for a thicker grease so what I'm going to do is flush all these out and you have to be really careful with these prop hubs because if you over pressure them you can blow the seal out too so what you end up doing is you end up taking the back greaser out and pumping from the front and you'll flush all that grease out of the hub. So that's what I'm getting ready to do here. set up correctly here and obviously when we go to put this greaser in we don't want to cross thread it or over tighten it because that would be a really bad place to try and re-thread so you got to be really careful with this thing This one was done once, but it, I had older grease in the grease gun. I've now got a new tube in the grease gun, so I'm just kind of going back and redoing what I already did just to make sure I've got good grease in all the hubs, which it looks like I do now. Okay, here's an example of the grease that came out, and I did get rid of some of the old already, but you can see the newer grease over here versus <clears throat> the older grease and it is quite a bit thinner and broken down compared to the newer grease so all four blade hubs are going to get fresh grease in them put it back together fly it now the first time i fly it there probably still be some residual oil in the seal that's going to come out uh, i'll clean it up again after that flight and then fly it again and hopefully things are uh, a lot better and we will very carefully get this greaser put back in there try not to cross thread it looks like I was successful now as long as I don't over tighten it, it should be good. Okay, snug. Wipe everything down because anything you leave on here is going to sling out as it's running and you're going to think you got another oil leak when potentially it's just stuff that you didn't wipe down so and you try and do a good job cleaning up when you get done won't be perfect like I say you have to probably fly it once clean clean the blades up again and then fly it the second time and that should really kind of let you know if you've succeeded in or not in uh, slowing down that leak. Another thing to note is that uh, you have to put that spinner back on exactly how it was when you took it off. So I did mark it so that I know for sure 
there's a B. I marked an A and a B on the spinner just to make sure I get things back in the correct place because you know when these props are balanced you can see up there I've got a washer up there for a weight to balance this prop and if you don't put that spinner back on exactly how it was before your props not gonna be balanced and you're gonna have extra vibration up there that you don't want so always mark your spinner before you take it off so that you get it back on in the exact same place and as I climbed up the ladder and realized some of that grease has been leaking out is on the inside of the spinner now so uh, I guess technically buildup could get your prop off balance too so I'm going to get this cleaned up and my new cleaner of choice right now which seems to be working very well unless I find something better is this release so foam it on there and we'll see how well it takes this grease and nastiness out of there guess I'll get my grease gun cleaned while I'm at it So we'll let that sit a little bit and get stuff cleaned up. All right, see if I can do this one-handed. Give you an idea as much as I can. I, I can't put a whole lot of pressure on it without holding this, but obviously you can see that's gonna, gonna get that off there. So I'm gonna clean this up and I'll show you what it looks like when I get done. All right, so it didn't take a whole lot of work. A little bit of elbow grease, not a lot. That is way better. And that release comes in a, in my cleaners over here. I like this too, the no rinse, mixed up in bottles. Works great for, I mean, this leading edge last night was just covered in bugs. And of course it's got the ceramic coating on it and I hit it with that no rinse and uh, they wiped pretty much right off. But the release ultra with distilled water. That way you don't have minerals in your water that are, you know, the release instead of attacking the minerals, it's attacking the dirt. That you're trying to get cleaned off of your vehicle whatever it is so distilled water does work better than well water so i started i got one screw in on i believe i have one on let's see oh i don't have one over here but one thing i want to say is do not use a powered screwdriver or cordless drill of any kind when you're doing this take your time use a screwdriver make sure you're not cross threading and get it done correctly without stripping the threads out of course we got our dirty paw prints all over it so we're gonna clean it up a little bit leave a little bit of a residual so whenever you use that you want to go back over it with no rinse as the name implies you don't have to rinse after 